Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, guys. Today we have a special one on our books today. You don't know, it's all about the custom lifestyle, and I'm all about the custom lifestyle here in Jamaica, showing you all the custom rides and cars that basically get a little vibe that most people might think that would not have the potential to look good, but got a nice touch for it to look good. And as for persons who have been following me and know the whole vibe and the history, know that I recently had one of these cars which you're going to see on this vlog today. I had lots of plans for this car, lots of big dreams I had for it. However, I got an offer that I could not refuse. So, of course, I did part ways with it. But today, I'm going to feature one of those cars that I think is one of the nicest finishes on the island right now from, for those cars that you see. And I'm going to hear from the owner, talk to him a little bit about his history, his background in the car world, and what he has done to this car to make it look like what it is today and your today's sponsor brought to you by smc shipping services located on 35 church street in montego bay st james check them out for the quickest shipping services great prices great rates excellent services guys you don't know i'm gonna put the instagram name on the screen guys hit them up get yourself registered and start with the shipping on the island right now guys yo let's jump into this one let's show you what's going up yo not keep the intro too long let's start with the owner here what he has to say about his journey and his custom ride no lie let's go into this one right now You don't know, I'm gonna make him do the talking, guys. So I jump into this one. Um, tell us your name, the car that you drive, and the year. Well, my name is Marlon. People know me as Baby Boy. So, yeah. Well, I drive a 2004 Toyota Altis. See, so yeah. 2004 Toyota Altis, Marlon. Yeah, man. Um, before we get into the Altis, we wanna jump back a little bit into your history as a car owner persons might know, not know some of the cars that you own but just give us a rundown of some of the cars that you've owned in the past well i used to own a wagon and call it waggy toyota carola waggy it was a taxi but people look at it and say boy it's not a taxi it's like too clean too low otherwise on that after that i own a, a police shape 96 police shape you know pink creams drop it low just the same after that i own a Levin, Toyota Levin, yeah, a 1999 Toyota Levin, one of the lowest cars you can find around. And uh, after that, here comes the Toyota Altis. All right, so it seems like your history has surrounded highly on Toyota cars. Tell us a little bit about why you love Toyota so much and why all your cars that you've owned so far have been Toyotas. Well, Toyota is a, is a brand well known all over the world, you know, and everywhere you go, you can find. Toyota parts, you understand, but Toyota is just the name for me. The brand Toyota, that's what I love. The cars, I love them. You understand? All right, so tell us a little bit about your history. How did you get into cars? What sparked your love for cars and also doing different things to the cars once you become the owner of them? Well, from day one, you know, never like high vehicle. From day one, as you can see, me is a chubby youth, you know, so climb up in a vehicle, I'm not really like that. So I like the low riders. Otherwise, on that, come to Ocherius a couple years back, see some nice cars, some low cars. Originally, where I'm from now, low cars can be there, be high vehicle. So, you know, the first car, when we get the waggy, and I say, all right, guess what? Car too high, so I just drop it low and the ride, the bounce of the car. was something that made me feel nice, I feel good. So otherwise on that, you know, I just say, all right, all of my vehicles, them have to be a, a low rider. People call them street sweeper. Yeah, man. Nice, nice, nice. And, and of course, you've been through a few cars as well, and leading up to the 
this car that we're going to talk about, the Toyota Altis. Which is Tell right. Us how did you end up moving from the, in, the 11 to the Altis? How did that process happen? All right, first of all, the two door car was a sports car. I'm a family man. You understand? Nobody wanted to go in the back seat at the 11. Nobody have no windows to wind down. So I say, all right, let me get rid of the 11 and buy a, a four door car. So one day I was in the hills, coming through the hills, went up to a friend's house. Coming down from the friend's house, I, I saw a car on the Aki tree. <laughs> Why it a drama, but coming down to the car, call over the house and the owner come out and you know it's like it's a vision. I see the car and I said to myself, you now if you take some pictures and show the wife. So I show the wife the car, she has a boy, the car didn't look good at all. But the vision up here as a man who loves car and likes specs out car. Me see it, but she can't see it. So, yeah, we start Google search and do some research on it. Buster, you know, say you was one of the main person to call about this car. So, you know, you know, I mean, you know. But otherwise, on that, we see the vision for the car. Yeah, man. Nice. All right. So when you when when you when you actually approach the owner to, to to get this car, what was his reaction? Was he ready to sell? Did you have to make him an offer? He couldn't refuse. What happened? Well, the owner wanted to sell the car now because she said that boy she's migrating to the US. She wanna get rid of the car. So we talk about it, talk about the price and the fee said the price is nice. Yeah, fee said the price is nice. Cause the car didn't have a car where people call it a terrible condition, deplorable condition. And I see the, the mats of that car. So Come to understanding, pay for the car, bring it home, and may I tell her, say, yeah. Otherwise, from that, this is the car now. All right, so walk us through um, some of the things um, that you did to the car. Let's start with the front of the car. What did you change on the front of the car from what you actually got on it initially? I changed everything on the front of the car. Everything, apart from the two fenders. Change the bumper, I change the headlights, change the bonnet. I change the bumper lights. Everything right on the front I change. Change them. Where the car parked, it was a red dirt. You know the mining dirt. Right. And you know so when those things splash on anything, it stain. Mm -hmm. And it stain the colour. The colour was actually brownish with the altis, the original colour. And all the wash it, wash it. Can never so I change everything on the front. Right. Um I noticed that you get, got rid of the brownish and you did a color change on it but from, from what I know of you and, and, and the cars that you own I think every one of them has been white Yes Why didn't you actually try a different color other than white? You see, you can do a whole lot of specs concerning I mean, rim wise different color rims different size rims or you match your color you can match white with any color rims so white is a thing that me chose. Me just love white. And white is always outstanding. Right. Yeah man. So that is me. I'm I'm just a man who look upon it as uh, white. Yeah. Right. Tell us about alright, so, so tell us some, some specs. Let's talk about the wheels on the car. What kind of wheels are you running specs on the wheels then? Alright. The, the rim the rim is a rim is a 17 inch, 17 by 9 and a half rim. Right. But actually I shoot out the rims them to 10 and a half. Because the, the arch, the base of the, 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 the car mm -hmm. is very big. Right. These cars run on uh, what you call those kind of concave. Right. Um, so concave is something hard to forget for me and the specs of me want. So it's, it's a 17 by 9.5, um, 25 offset. The tires basically is 17s but 40 series tires stretch right so what with the width 205 205 205 40 get the more stretch. Uh, stretch where you want right did you actually um, change the suspension on the car to any performance are yes you man stock? yeah man stock we don't run stock man you know that clay you know it's a stock kind of something where we right you know but after doing the measuring and doing all the, the specs and something you know say about um about the Rev 9 right. fully built suspension 
that is what is on the Altis right now. And how, fully how built. does that ride? Well, it depends on how you want the vehicle for riding because it have the damper, okay. it have the, the tensioner, and it have the camber. Nice. So if you want it to ride 50-50, it's up to you. If you want it to ride harder, a little harder, mm -hmm. because you're a man who go fast and when you bend corner, it's up to you, you know. Me go 50-50. Right. Yeah, man. Right, right so, round. So the Altis basically, uh, most of them that I've seen, well, some of them don't come with size skirts, some come with size skirts. Did you have to source these or you actually got them on the car? Actually get the two side ones right. on the car. The back one was broken up. So I sourced that one. Right. The front one now, I got rid of that one and I use a uh, silica. I use a silica lip, but I had to cut it right. and use heater to heat it into a section or, or a position that i like which fit the front of the car perfect so you're saying that the front lip on this car is not an altis original no front lip, no it from a silica. it's a silica and a little bit uh um what you call it now fiberglass okay interesting, interesting yeah man um in terms of the back of the car what what did you add to it the back of the car i had a, a well if if everybody know altis altis don't come with bumper lights Right. So I get the I got the Mark X bumper lights, back bumper lights, running lights and add them in as indicator, brake light and park light. Okay. Yeah man. Um, in terms of the chunk spoiler, was that was that on the car or you actually? No man, the chunk spoiler <clears throat> chunk spoiler, this this chunk spoiler is the original Alti spoiler which I got from a source from another member in the group. Okay. So the original one what that was on it was rotten. Right. broken up so I source the original one put back on it tell us about the interior of the car um, in terms of what condition you got it in and what idea you had of it that you actually transform it to what it is now well boy, if you tell you the truth you know as my old lady would have said some people don't uh, what you say no raise fall in a certain vehicle my car was bad so I changed the whole interior the back seat I added I added a one inch sponge on the seat at the back and curve it back to catch back the, the design that it was originally uh, that it originally had mm -hmm. and then i wrap over the seat completely the door panels i change off the cloth that was on it and use the same material that is on the back seat right. the front seats now is a 2014 2014 um wish mm. seats which I drilled off the, the legs and right. placed them how my seat legs were formed so that they can bolt back in. Right. So basically the front seats are 2014 Wish, Toyota Wish. Interesting. Yeah, man. Nice. And in terms of the trims and stuff, what condition were they were in? I noticed that you had some designs on there. Yeah, man. Big up GQ. Big up GQ to the fullest. The trims were bad. GQ had to do some moldings and a little fiberglass on them to get them back looking perfect which i think them look even better than how they were so gq done the designs on the interior and the the dashboard the air strips air vent strips and the molding that is in the dashboard which is where the, the clocks are right. yeah man all right so since you see i know your cars are always an attention carter but in, when it comes to this how that is you're having no i mean what are some of the feedbacks you get in the streets when you actually have this car to tell you the truth any feedback that you think that is good positive about a man driving a car will look sexy look decent outstanding yeah man may get them all man nice. mostly nice. about the back part of the car because the back part i widen the back end of that car so when you're driving behind that car and looking at it it broad trust me broad and it look good no a, a car like toyota altis i mean and most persons probably not know that this is pretty much the same car as the American Corolla of the same year. Yes. I mean, the Altis would have been from the Singapore market, but then you have the American Corolla, which is the same body shape, body mm -hmm. type, mm -hmm. most, yeah, almost everything fits. But you, you find that there are Altis in Jamaica, but not, them, not, not a lot of them actually get the type of, you know, touch that it needs for it to look attractive. Um, of course, it's also a domestic car, so persons will say, you know, you know, you do all of this to the domestic car and, 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 and it's not worth it all that. What do you say about 
you know, persons who would think that it's not worth it to do something like this to a domestic car. All right, to tell you the truth, is what you want as a person that's, that is driving the car. For me, me want my car look good. So me go all out. Me can tell a man, say, keep your car the way, yeah? or tell a man, say, change up the, the, the exterior, the interior of the car. Because a man might put on a, a running board, muffler, um, lowering car, and two tools next week look worse than it ever been. So for me, it's, it's the type of person that is driving the car and the type of person actually how he feel driving the car, how he carry himself. So overall, I feel good about my one. And I can, I can tell a man, say, if you want a nice car or a show car, buy one. I want to make you feel good. Otherwise, if it's a working car, get a different car, if you can manage it. All right, the Jamaican car scene is changing. I mean, a lot of these cars are servicing. Uh, when I say a lot of these cars, I'm talking about domestic cars that have been have been modified mm -hmm. per se. People in Jamaica now have been gravitating to the modified lifestyle, even though originally culture wise, tuna life would have been, you know, at the forefront. I mean, the custom lifestyle now has brewed a lot of car shows all over the island. How do you feel about the direction that the car show or the car scene in Jamaica is going and also the dynamic split that it also has? Well, for me, it's a good thing because basically, to me, um, it brings people together. That's number one. You understand? It brings people together. Make people know people. You understand? The direction that it's going right now, I can see good things coming ahead. You understand? Yeah. And for right now, the car shows them were opening up back now. All I can see where you can actually come out and see different, different vehicles from all over Jamaica that is linking up together. Right now, one is coming up and when? The 19th of this month which a lot of people would like to see come back in the car shows yeah man come out them time there and come see what's going on but for me directly baby boy yeah it's 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 heading into a good direction and by the time viewers see this video this car show will be in full swing you know at the shaz entertainment center big up to say um whips and wheels you know hosted by team exclusive now as a car enthusiast a lot of persons would have seen your senior journey in the area in Centon and you know that, that people who look up to you ask a question at two times you know For real. what do you say to young car enthusiasts coming into the, the car scene and want to actually do something that is of their own taste and uniqueness to a car first of all you have to love care you have to love care period straight up you have to love care and when you're coming in, don't be afraid to open your mouth and ask questions. You see a man with a car where you like, and you have a vision of driving one like that. You see one a seller, you buy one, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask, you understand? You see me out the road and you say, yo, baby boy, yo, where, you, where you get that? Where you get that thing there? Talk to me, man. Me tell you straight up. Me not stay bad, you know? Other people out there too, you have some good people out there who drive some decent car. Other people out there drive Hondas, Suzuki. Fit Nation, all of them people, you have car in of them in of that category, you want to join a group, talk to, find the group leader, find somebody where you have where in of the group, ask them how to join the group, and they'll let you know. If you see me around and you still want to ask me, even if it's not a Honda me drive, me not drive Honda, me drive Toyota, but you want to know the person who can bring you into the Honda group, talk to me, I have connections, I have links. So if you have a car you want to pimp it up and make it look good, Follow your dream, man. It's your car. Nobody else's. Nice, nice. And you know, as somebody yourself who is on the road on a daily basis based on your profession, um, you know, we've seen a lot of things. And I wanted to touch on this real quickly. Being on the road every day, up and down, you know, the road sometimes can be a very dangerous place. What is your message to road users in Jamaica as it relates to driving and safe driving? Uh, my message to the drivers them out there. You have to open your eyes first of all. Deaf people don't drive on the road. And next thing again, you can't drive for yourself. You have to drive for you plus the person out there. You understand? Please, again, when the road wet, you not take on the time. When the road dry, take on the time. If you don't know the speed or the power of your vehicle, go easy. Even when you know it, still go easy. My grandmother always tell me, haste make waste. So, again, when you're going out, try to leave a little bit early before the timing. Yeah, man, so you can reach safe where you go. Yeah, man.
All right, baby boy, a lot of persons um, must have played a role in your journey as a car enthusiast, even with this car that you're currently driving. Um, tell us, uh, of course, anybody at all that you want to actually send a shout out to, give thanks to, big up at this time. First of all, I never know nothing about Altis. So I'm going to big up Clay, aka Buster. Uh, he had one and he was the first person I, I talked to about. So I'm going to big up Buster. You understand? Jovi, team exclusive boss. You understand? The leader of the team exclusive. Um, you have to big up Sparkles. Lord have mercy. Sparkles. You have to big up Sparkles. Sparkles source a lot of parts to me. You understand? Yeah. And big up all of the care groups them. Because you have some money in the groups them. I have to show up to help me transport some things, send things from where they are from to where, that where me can get to put on the car. So big up a whole lot of people. But mainly, yeah, my other a lot of things. Pam it one. But more big up them people there. You understand? Sparkles, Jovi, Clay. Yeah, big up on yourself. Yeah man, for real. Yeah man. I don't know man and big up respect you know. Appreciate every time, time, every time, every time, time, every time. Actually sit and just tell us a little bit about the journey as well. Um as um one question I want to ask you. I mean, person might be wondering what kind of engine comes in this car. I mean, we know we know it's automatic, but what kind of engine comes in this car and how does it perform in terms of, you know, torque as a domestic car and also in terms of fuel efficiency? All right, my car run good. You understand? It's not a gearbox, as Buster says. It's a transmission, 3ZZ engine and a 3ZZ transmission. Um, yeah, it run very good. Gas-wise, yeah, man, bone gas proper. Can't complain. Yeah man, cannot complain at all about the gas. And the next owner will own this car, trust me. You now have to do a thing. You put in gas, wind up the glass them. It, AC call like the North Pole, may I tell us straight. One, you're good to go. So otherwise, 3ZZ engine, 3ZZ transmission, run perfectly good. 220, pan the clock, you understand? And everything nice with it. No problems. Yeah man. the levels you know one big up everybody where i view this thing i got to view this thing you understand this vlog from clay aka buster but here the levels now buster i want to you show everybody whips and wheels please and thanks but may i big up everybody first of all where you know take part in this vlog yeah we are support the thing and you know all who see the car and rate the car and next thing before we forget the car will be on sale after the 19th of this month you understand so buster last but not least show them the care show where i go on the 19th of the month man. peace out big up on yourself this is baby boy yeah man, man.